All right, that means it's time to play America's favorite third place game. That's right. It's the Ocho. As always, I am your host, Aquaman 2, grossing $24 at the box office because Amber Heard went to see it twice. Uh, today we have the third place game between the Chicken Hawks and the Chop House, both with eight and six records. Uh, Chop House got third place on tiebreaker. Tiebreakers, uh, 7.9 points per game versus seven. Stat to watch for the Chicken Hawks. Who are you going to call? These two teams have developed something of an unlikely kinship, a brotherhood, if you will, where they phone to friend each other uh, multiple times. Is this going to be the first instance where one team phones their opponent for an answer? For the Chop House, their non-niche percentage is greater than their uh, niche percentage, which in theory should play into their hand with this longer format of game. Uh, season series, they only played each other once, and Chop House won 11-5, to and that was in Week 8. So winner gets their uh, their money back and that and also pride, which is I think the most valuable. You should have just made every category NHL. <laughs> yeah, I think I feel like both teams would like that, but that's not how it's played. Movie like music. Eli, anyway, you're goaded at this, right? I actually think we could nail this. I'm not gonna lie. But I, I, don't I don't doubt that. It's just a, a question of whether or not we want to use our double here or use it later on. It's a long like, game. We should probably we should save it. Fun. Yeah. I think there's two arguments against that, and then, like, they could probably get it. You know? They're, they're all music yeah. people. They use the music. Uh, this is pretty broad. Yeah. Niche. Let's just save it. All right. So we're all on board with saving it? All right. All right, Chop House, you doubling? No. no. Okay. Chicken Hawks, chicken out, just like their name would suggest, for the Chicken Hawks. After the success of Adele's Skyfall, uh, what artist performed the feature song for Spectre? Eli, you know it? I do. I, I do it. too. Is it Calvin Harris or Sam Smith? It's Sam Smith. No. No. Yeah, it is. It's um, Writings on the Wall by Sam Smith. Yeah. Is this Boy, the most recent it? one? No. I thought it, I thought it was Billie Eilish. I really like the song, actually. No, That's it's Billie really Eilish cool. is um That's whatever that, that new one was. My time to die. Yeah, Sam Smith. Final answer. Get on the board early. I don't even understand what the question was asking. <laughs> I knew that one. <laughs> is Spectre a song? No, Spectre yeah. is a movie. Well, That's the name really... of the James Bond movie. Oh. Every Bond movie has like a song that goes with it. <laughs> Probably a good good idea not to double there. Uh, but regardless, Matt made this category. So if you have any qualms, take it up with him. Uh, for the other team, what star artist released a hit song as part of Fifty Shades of Grey soundtrack that peaked at number three in the U.S. charts in 2014? You guys want to phone Valerie? Yeah. What? I feel, I feel like we can phone my girlfriend. She might know. I know this. Yeah. I just feel like this is um. I have no. I have no idea. They say they know it. So, Eli, do you know it? It would be like Lady Gaga. What's, what's some like, like? Should we phone? Dude, I know what song this is. Once I hear it, I know it's gonna be it. I remember this. Like, I remember this song. What what like, song is it? Uh, I can't song? think of it, dude. Oh, oh my god! How do you know the fucking song? You <laughs> because no, I'm like once they say it, I'm gonna know it. Should we say like, sure. like, like, it's on the tip of my tongue. Like, what is this? Put, put it phone? down on me by Jeremiah. No, <laughs> I don't know what Fifty Shades. Man, I think it was a weekend song. I think it was probably the weekend. But earned think, it. Is that that's the weekend song? So we don't want to. We don't want to wait. Can, if she, do you, Preston, you decide. Phone a friend or not? I'll, yeah, let's let's phone. Oh, okay. the first question. <laughs> yeah, let's do. They know it. They're already up two zero. Let's All phone. right, they're phoning a friend. Star artist released a hit song as a part of the 50 Shades of Grey soundtrack that peaked at number three in the U.S. charts in 2014. Ellie Golding. Ellie Golding, she says. Do you think Wait, what song? What song? Could it be yeah, The Weeknd? Or... 
Well, you don't know song it is. Hey, we don't have to know the song. It's yeah, but ten seconds. I try. Like I you trust. Do, maybe I think it's called. I don't know. Oh, like love me like you do. Me, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. That sounds good. Okay. Yeah. Let's that go. Only Golding. All right. Final answer. No, it's <laughs> it's it's earned it by the weekend. The weekend final answer. Oh. <laughs> they talk themselves out of it. Preston. <laughs> I, was, I said the weekend the whole time, dude. Preston. I was saying you should've, you should've, the whole time. You should have gone with it. I did. I was. <laughs> then you said, Preston, your call. You didn't name the song. I said weekend. Oh. I you did say weekend. I named the song. Yeah, oh. you named the song. And then I, and then I saw it was like artists. Like, oh, it was weekend. Like, that's it. So not only do they burn their phone a friend, but they go down 2 0, but there is still really plenty of trivia to be played. Our next category is 2000s <laughs> NHL. Great category. So oh, thanks, Matt. Would anyone, yeah, exactly. Would anyone we're, like to double? We got to hold the double just in case we miss yeah, it. Don't you? Yeah, we're also not going to double. Okay, both teams respecting each other. Uh, yeah, each other's we, NHL knowledge. We respect the Chicken Hawks. For. The chicken hawks. Recognize real. Name the starting goaltender from this team based on the top three point scores for the team that year. I know it, Cam. I think. Unless, do you have anybody? Uh, Arposo. He was a number one overall draft pick. That's what I'll say about him. Oh. Okay. So you, you know, know it. Is this a? What team is this? Is this the? This is the Islanders. Oh. Oh, there. Go for it. All right. Rick DiPietro, final answer. Yes. Don't mind me. I was just looking That's a good up pull. because I don't. That was know. good. All right. 3 0 lead. Uh, the chop house to bring it back to two. Name the starting goaltender from this team based on the top three point scorers for the team that year. Uh, I don't remember what team he was on. Oh, fuck. Oh man, I definitely should know this. All right, I know the team. I don't know the goalie. Fuck, Spencer, you know the goalie? I'm not positive I know the team. I think I know the, the team. Asterix. And he's 32. Yeah, what does the asterisk mean? I think it means he was traded that season. No, he, no. All right, that's that's. I'm not talking anymore. <laughs> I'm done talking. Yeah. Three, you got something? Uh, John Gibson. Final answer. All right, there it is. Okay, well that gives me the piece I need. Jean Sebastian Jaguer. Jean Sebastian Jaguer. Final answer. Ah yeah. oh, man. This would be Thomas Vakun. Uh, much I don't remember him question. playing with the Ducks. Much harder. Question. Is he on the Ducks? I, I did. I knew Jaguar was a goalie for the Ducks, and I knew Korea played for the Ducks later on. It was definitely the Ducks. Yeah, I think he played for the Blues. Blues. Played for the Ducks. I didn't know that. God, I sure love that hockey. All right, for, all right. Our first niche of the night is classic rock songs. Chicken Hawks, would you like to double? We're good. Okay. Yeah. No. <laughs> okay. For Chicken Hawks. Name the song based on the lyrics. It's hard to remember being on my own. That kind of loving makes a hard man lose control. But I sleep so much better now. I'm not alone. So promise me, baby, you're always going to stay. Let's play. Let's pass. Emo shit. Let's pass. Uh, classic rock. Let's give a guess. Uh, Kickstart My Heart by Motley Crue. Final answer. Um, is this crazy by Aerosmith? Preston? I don't know. I'm not very good at this category I found out over this season. <laughs> but, uh, I think this is crazy by Aerosmith. That sounds, that sounds. Final answer. Yeah, I like it. Wow. What is it? Uh, Love Locked In by Thunder. I, that song is thunder i don't know that one classic i don't know about classic. Yeah, on, the, on the uh, list of 100 the 100 uh best classic rock songs by apple apple music this was like 30 yeah wow. who's who is judging 
I don't know. I don't know. Is Apple just being like, yeah, these are these are our best rock songs? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I will say Tim uh, Tim Cook's personal picks. I will say there were plenty of songs in there that I recognized that I was like, I don't know if that counts, but but uh, <laughs> this one I think deserved to be on there. But okay, all right, for the Chop House, name the song based on the lyrics. Uh, you're always dancing down the street with your suede blue eyes, and every new boy that you meet, he doesn't know the real surprise. These are such a lame song. No, this is, um, <laughs> come on, hold on. Uh, my best friend's girl. Final answer. Yeah, this one, this one was like 16, and that was as far up as I had to go to find That's another one. That's such a one. shitty list if this is 16. <laughs> <laughs> maybe <laughs> but you do get on the board both doubles left chicken hawks double phone a friend category four money ball this is about players who are on the money ball team would anyone like to double oh uh, right it's an mlb category fellas i don't think what, we're... yeah can we uh low key a movie category can, can we call matt you know... no he made this you can't made the game Jake, oh, he made you money. Game. Do you know Moneyball pretty well or no? But either way, yeah. But the, I don't know like every player on the team. I has seen this movie like a thousand times. So what he thinks yeah. might be an easy trivia question okay. might be. I don't know. Hard. I don't know the deep cuts on this team. I know some of the guys though. Tyler's in the audience. We can call him. We don't. We don't got a Jones for the. Uh, is the I don't think we should. Phone a friend. Well, does this count as the MLB question? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. Sounds like oh, no doubles. We're not going to double this. Okay. For the Chicken Hawks, uh, this first baseman on the 2002 A's was traded midseason. He would go on to appear in one World Series with the Rays in 2008 and make his only All Star team the following year. Oh, I know one player gets traded midseason. All right. Talk Jeremy about. Giambi, final answer. Damn it. Or who was the um, other isn't it Hattenberg the guy that they got that like couldn't really throw and he was a that's catcher. who that that's who they got but this is who they traded away right well it just says traded mid yeah is it, it's it's Hattenberg away. it's ha yeah it's Hattenberg yeah Scott Hattenberg final answer no this is the guy they traded away so had Hattenberg could play first base this is Carlos Pena uh I remember it being like a Spanish name was one of the names I was thinking but traded to Detroit. From Massachusetts, I found out while making this category. Um, for the Chop House. Uh, this shortstop won the American League MVP in 2002 for the A's and later made multiple all-star teams with both the Orioles and Astros. Um, this is... This is Miguel Tejada. All right. Just, we don't want to give him two. Final? Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Correct. They had, they had <laughs> the MVP. MVP. That's a pretty easy question. Well, I will say they the had the, was easy. You should have had that. They were both pretty easy. Yeah. And I do think it's kind of funny that this guy won MVP and they never mentioned him in the movie once. So yeah. Uh, <laughs> the money ball narrative. Yeah, we had no play. Yeah, they're like, oh, we let's not say they had the MVP on their team. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Nerf Guns, Pew Pew, is our next category. Oh. Chop House, would you like to double? No, thanks. No. Yes. yes. Come right. on, Cam. Sure. Here we go. Okay. Earn your paycheck. Chicken Hawks. I don't think I've missed one here. Free agency is looming, so this is big for, big for uh, I forget which. <laughs> Contract year. Cam. Cam. Contract sorry, year. sorry. I'm attributing that to uh, being tired. All right. Name this Nerf Gun from the Rival series. It's a layup, Cam. Come on. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, this is really hard. I don't know. I don't think I know. That. Name around. Is it um, you? I thought you loved these these ones with the little ball. They're all named after uh, like Greek whoa, gods. Oh, careful. Are they named after? Yeah. Greek gods. <laughs> <laughs> Cam, yeah, that's dude. For um, real, you do this every time. <laughs> it's don't pontificate. It's the You're the only one who knows anything about Nerf. Fine. Yeah, no idea. Okay, well we'll say we'll say the Hades. We'll say the Hades. Final answer. 
Apollo, God, right? He just it. said Apollo. I like Let's Apollo. <laughs> Apollo, Poseidon, Zeus. I think those. Apollo sounds. I mean, Apollo's good. Apollo, yeah, Apollo's best. Yeah, right. Apollo. Okay, Apollo. Final answer. Very I just close. threw that in the trick. Em. I knew it wasn't the Apollo. Artemis. Was Artemis. Yes. Yeah. All right, guys. All right. Oh. Maybe it's similar. All right. I looked up a list beforehand, so I'm just gonna say one really quick. I show no, 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 no. Let's let's. They're if it looks like this, do another. This one, so. Cam made sure they had all the information available before before getting the question wrong, which you respect. So, yeah. for the Chop House, name this Nerf gun from the Ultra series. All right, do like a shotgun based one that you found and then quick it. Yeah, I didn't remember that. Many. All right, just do one. Just do one. Uh, the, the cowboy shooter. I don't know. Yeah, I like it. Cowboy shooter. Right, final thing? answer. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a number. Okay. It, it could be four or five. I'm gonna I'm go. I'm literally three. gonna make a curb your nerf three, after this three. of you going. Three. It okay, was three. Right. Three, most three. 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 I was gonna make a one where you go. I don't think I missed one all season, and then the fucking curb your enthusiasm theme comes on as you proceed to blow both of them. Oh my god. Primo, Primo right. did say the right answer, but no one on his team listened to him. He said three, two, one. So there's that. Okay. Oh, doubles left. Each team has had a niche. Oh. Okay. Cam's leaving. He's done. Yeah, what? Okay. Next category is burger. This is about cheeseburgers. Borgie. Would anyone, would anyone like to double? It's one of my favorite videos ever. Wait, what's the, what's the reference from? What's the reference from? I didn't know it was a reference. I it's just like it was a funny spelling. It's like a little guy that looks like that guy right, has below. Right. Oh, he's playing has something. Bola. Somebody's got some oh, feedback. I I got... Him. There. Yeah. Do so you know like Hasbola? The, the little he? guy from like Chechnya. Yeah. Looks like a yes. baby. There, it's like it's like somebody like him and he's like reaching out for a big burger. Got it. All right. Let's see. Should, should we double? No. No. I, I don't know what this I, is. <laughs> all right. All right. I like burgers. Have one today. Smash burger. Be I had smash Culver's burger. today. More gear. Pretty much eating Smash Burger recently. No, dude, they're not here in Jacks. All right, go on. Okay, go. Chicken Hawks. Are you doubling? Proceed. Are you doubling? Then, uh, I, I don't. I don't think so. Right. Definitely Cam, not. you're you're food specialist. I I would use it, but I'm, I'm going to save it. Okay. Yeah, we're probably going to get a movie question. We've only really had movie music, so. Yeah. All right. We already got movie music. Yeah, but he's music category guy. No doubles for border. Fuck it, let's double. Let's double. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, no, no. Or, right, we're gonna bro, hold it. Two, two make a decision. <laughs> we're not gonna double. <laughs> Despite no. heavy campaigning from Cam, they hold off on the double for burger chicken ox. What restaurant is this burger from? Insane question. It, okay, this is hard. I feel like it's uh, Shake Shack. Mm. It looks like a slider to me. But it, not White Castle slider, obviously. It looks better than White Castle. That's like a full size tomato, though, you know? I don't, see, I, I think, look how, look at the pickle. It would have to be a massive pickle for that to be not Got a slider. It. Is there some like West Coast In N Out shit or something? I don't, it's not In N Out. I, could it be Whataburger? Yeah, it could be. I have no idea what that looks like. Hardee's? Cam, does Culver's do burgers? Uh, yeah, but it's not Culver's. Hey, right. I, I think it's our best chance is Whataburger. All right. Because that's I, like, really, it's like, it's not I like Hardee's it's like, or like Carl's Jr. It's not something shitty like that. It's like a, a step above that. I think it's Shake Shack, but go for it. Whataburger, final answer. Where you go? All right, so, go? yeah, wait, wait. So Whataburger is square. W- um, Whataburger makes the biggest fucking burgers. Yeah, I think this is in and out I think this is in and out I thought In and Out was. I kind of like, like Shake Shack. Patties. I thought this is too thick of a patty. For I me. know whatever one it is, it has that sauce. Not a lot of burgers places come with their own sauce on it. I know In and Out does. Does the Shake Shack? Their main That's, burger have I don't, sauce. I don't think that's Shake Shack. Shake Shack's got the skinny burgers. I haven't eaten that Shake Shack. Okay, so. let's go In and Out. Let's go In and Out. Okay, go for it. In and Out final answer. What? what that is In and Out. That's what In and Out's burgers. Is that what everybody goes crazy for? And now sauce is the what gave it away. Like a I think. thick patty there for. I knew they had sauce. 
Okay. Yeah. I also can can everyone else see the closed captions? No. Yeah. Okay. I just got those. Cam, you've had what uh, in and out, right? All right. Well, they're they're That's on okay. now. Be Over here, no. Just some good. You guys would get it with all of, without any of the vegetables though. So you yeah. Nice nice. EJ wanted them. Okay, so that's four three to tie it up. Uh, Chop house. What restaurant is that's this? Shake Shack. One hundred percent Shake Shack. <laughs> Got the sauce. You think? Yeah. <laughs> it, could that be st- it could be Steak and Shake. I think it's Shake Shack. I think he went. Okay, in I don't think shake shake. All right. Lock it in, Preston. Yeah, we'll go Shake Shack. Final answer. Yeah. Jesus. Nice. Oh, let's go. <laughs> yeah. We should have doubled. That's why I said we knew burgers. Cam, did you recognize that? <laughs> I was kind of a no. when I when I made that kind of I expected it to be, and I've eaten a lot of burgers. Yeah. I was, no Shake Shack. I was one hundred percent positive that no one would double, and then after it was over, they would say, "Oh, we should have doubled that." So, <laughs> Got us. Game, Something we didn't double. I guess what else could what else could burger questions be? <laughs> the game within the game. All right, tie game with uh, Chicken Hawk still with both of their lifelines. Chop House with just their double. Workouts is our next niche of the night. Chicken Hawks, would you like to double? No. Damn, no Frisbee golf, Jake. I know. I submitted niches, and my team rejected them. But I, my niches were Frisbee golf, Rick and Morty, and Goosebumps. I also was not <laughs> oh, the That would have been <laughs> sick. They said that would have been <laughs> sick. <laughs> I would have helped you on the question, too, for sure. I know. I know. Just for being cool enough to pick it. No, you didn't time. respond in the main chat. I was like, we'll split the money and just do random. Oh, uh, I responded in our group chat and said, not a fucking chance. Yeah. Uh, right. We almost have PD's worst nightmare, a game with two goosebumps categories <laughs> for the chicken hawks. Oh, spoilers. <laughs> Name this calisthenics movement of where one <laughs> this position. Wait, we didn't even ban a niche, did we? Score. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we we okay, uh, Eli, you, you work out. Let's punt it, guys. I have no idea. Okay, uh, calisthenic movement where one holds this position. Make uh, wheelbarrow. I don't know. Make something up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, wheelbarrow. Hang. Wait, should we? Wait, who are we gonna call? Do you want to call and be like, Spencer, hey, look at this gauge. Or like straight arm. Spencer. Oh, do you think he'd know it? That's the thing. Like, I understand. I understand the logic. He but might. Okay, I, we have to use we have to use our double, and there's only three questions left. I think we should call him. There's, yeah, there's, there's 15 rounds. 15 rounds. Oh, shit. I didn't want to stay that long. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guys got big plans, huh? I got to go to bed. I got to work at six. Uh, okay, uh, we're using all our time here. Um, straight arm, straight arm hang, final sure. answer. I don't know the answer to this one. Um, The closest thing to it, I think it's like a flagpole. What about like the gymnastics, like a bar thing? I mean, I think I like he might be doing a muscle up, but it is. No, oh, it's, it's hold the position. Oh, did you hold it? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I The only thing I know is like flagpole, but you're like sideways. So oh. we'll have to go for flagpole if I like it. I thought Footer might have had an answer, but no. This is a front no, level. I'm, I'm watching hockey. Some dude just got killed. Oh, no. What what game? All right. Predators. All right, not Predators. Panthers. For the chop house, name this deadlift variation that involves <laughs> lifting the barbell in the crooks of the elbows. It just looks like it hurts. I should know this. <laughs> what the fuck? That doesn't, like... And sometimes you have like both the workouts super fast, and then like sometimes it's just like the workouts I do, some I don't. I don't understand why people would. How does it with the sense? deadlift? The deadlift is already extreme enough. <laughs> what is no that? reason? So the squat, like squat version of this, all day. the squat version of this is called the Zercher squat. It could just do the Zercher be, deadlift. I mean, I think it could just be like a Zercher. I think that's what like being in the elbows means. So Zercher deadlift or Zercher. Yeah, yeah, we can just like get a searcher. Yeah, searcher. Right. Yeah, that, that's cool. We'll finally answer that. Nice. Wow. Yes. As the Darn. searcher deadlift. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm glad I got that. Good pull. They take the lead by Dr. Zercher or something. I don't know. Manchester City, uh, UEFA Champions I mean, League. Matt was going to do some shit like this. Let's double it. 
Spence, no. Spence, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> all right, go for you, it. You screw me out of it all the way back in the day. Oh. I don't want to double right, it now that it. I had to get that aggressive. Spencer, are you, Spencer, are you a Man City fan? No, but it, it, right. I watch the Champions it. League. You know what I'm talking it. about. Should we double or you want to hold it, boys? I, it's up, it's to, up you. to you. It's your call. I don't know how well you know this. Uh, I, I haven't missed the Champions League since 2013. All right, then let's do it. All right, let's double. Come on. All right. 2000s. 2000s. <laughs> now oh, they weren't in the Champions League. The is, they, didn't have, the they didn't have their oil money yet. What's the U stand for? UEFA. Oh, fuck. And UEFA is a different acronym. Isn't it United? It's not United? No. Oh, wow. All right. For the Chicken Hawks for two points. City lost on away goals to Spurs in the 2019 quarterfinals after a late goal by what Spanish reserve striker they bought from Swansea. Uh, that was 100% a handball, but UEFA has an agenda. Fernando Llorente, final answer. Nice. Yes, so I had to look it up again. Big two points there. I feel, like, I feel like my teammates don't know my strengths. Take the lead back. Four at the chop house to tie it up. This is going to be so hard. We have no chance here. <laughs> City were dumped out of the round of 16 by upstarts Monaco on away goals, with the first goal being scored by what midfielder who is later sold to an English club and now plays in Italy on loan? So know. why is a whole category based on one team? What does that sentence mean? Because it just happened again. And it's been like a thing that's happened throughout the last decade. The very timely category. Is this a Man City player we're trying to name? Or no? Yes, a City player. We have no idea. Round of 16. I have no, five, five, no shot. Like, Bro, why, why is a category so specific to one team? What's that guy? Uh, um, Hazard. He was pretty good in the World Cup. I don't know what he is. He no, he does not play for... I probably should be able to name a Man City player. Dude, De Bruyne. <laughs> it's not him. He's still on the city. <laughs> oh, I have something on the <sighs> me forever. Um, we're gonna go. At... Oh, no, I don't know. Number. Like, like Fernandinho or something. Final answer. <laughs> Sorry, I meant to say final goal, but I guess I feel like that doesn't change much. Uh, Timmy Yui back Yoko. Final answer. <laughs> Dude, that is ridiculous that Matt put a full Manchester City category in here. Well, it's about teams other than Manchester City, really. It's just... Do you think this is an all-star game or something? I mean, the first like, the first one was about... This is the most specific ca- category. The first one was about Tottenham. It's not. This one was it's, about... it's, like, it's, you just, did, it's just a soccer if, category. If you did UCL as a niche, that could be good questions for it. All right. As Put some respect on my man's name. Spell it right. What? Oh, Arl Stein? Is that not how you spell it? Swapped in two categories in a row. Not even I any. Why do you why do you go back and forth between accusing him of mass plagiarism and then telling you to put some respect That's on his right. name? Those things are not mutually exclusive. <laughs> okay. All right. As it's given back the back niches. Are these books or movies? It's that books. wasn't their niche. Manchester wasn't their all right. Oh. This yeah, is I know books. it was this thing, but it was basically a niche. All right. This is right. books. This is books. Yes, books. And how many are there? Like a million. Okay. No, there's, so many, there's so many books. All right. Chop House, are you doubling? 62 in the OG series. I'm not going to double this. No. Okay. Chicken Hawks. In what Goosebumps book do siblings Billy and Sheena visit their – wrong there – their uncle in a tiny Caribbean <laughs> island where he warns them to stay away from coral reefs? Uh, Eli and Cam, what do you got for me? Nothing. Give me a shot. Come on. It's a pun. The, the 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 title is a pun. Think go about no. think think about ah. Oh, go to shell. Good. Cam, what do you got for me? <laughs> it's a nautical pun. Just just end this for us, please. Deep trouble. Final answer. <laughs> yes, yeah, so it's deep trouble. Their uncle is named Doctor Deep. Who who could come up with this stuff? All right. <laughs> 
Arl Stein or a graduate student yeah, yeah, that he yeah. contracted out to. Yeah. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. I have, I have COVID right now and I'm really paranoid about getting brain fog and that getting the there wrong really just confirms to me that I've, I'm basically, I basically have dementia at this point. So, all right. For the chop house. God, Cam's on the clock. In what goose, in what goosebumps book do siblings Wendy and Elliot go to a sports camp where the counselors are a little too obsessed with winning? Got to be camp. Let's just do like uh, one sum, summer camp. Final answer. No, let's do. Oh my god. Yeah, you weren't gonna get it. And like, oh, we're... relax. You know, Spencer. Let me think this out. All right. <laughs> let us try it. Again. All right. Let's. The think horror this out. at Camp Jelly Jam. Final well, answer. Hold on. Let's let's think See, this out. Exactly. <laughs> all right we so got camp we have number five there's a giant <laughs> slime monster living underneath of it i knew it and he needs athletes to fan him so they're looking for the best athletes at the camp <laughs> and then they, they they take them and bring them to <laughs> the underground i get kidnapped into slavery for this <laughs> literary classic oh my god they, coming up with like plot synopsis questions for these are so impossible because the names are so simple like there's one where it's like there's ghosts at the beach and then it's just like ghost, ghost beach people. Yes. Yeah, so. right. Cam's going crazy right now. He's still have six categories. He's got to go to bed. Geography duplicates. Uh, Chop what? house. Would you like to double? No, I don't even know what it means. We'll, we will pass on this. Well, is your your we'll category Carver. titles are always. We're pretty good at geography. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. This one was Matt. I'm uh, not bad at geography. What does ge- geography duplicates mean? There's two of them. Well, yeah, but I'm not good at geography. There's just two. Two what? Like, well, I don't yeah, understand. two Dakotas, two, two Carolinas. There's two of them. All right. So All right, that's probably know. it. All right, for the chicken hawks. While both are on the coast, you would only be in proximity to Pompeii from this Italian city rather than its U.S. counterpart. Got to be Naples. Uh, Na- Naples, right. Florida. Yeah, Florida. Yeah, got to be. Shout Go out, Frank. It. Naples, Florida, final answer. Naples, Naples, final answer. It is correct. They double up the Chop House's score in round 10. Let's see if they can bring it back. Regardless of which Disney park you visit, if you want to go to one in the United States, you have to travel to a county called what? It's, um... I wish we could... Oh. This is uh this is Orange County, Florida, and then California. Oh yeah, that's that's yeah, this, the OC. Okay, yeah. Let's, yeah, yeah, let's do Orange final County. Answer. Yeah, final answer. I was thinking too hard about this. I was like, wait, <laughs> in LA, like it's right there. <laughs> Eli, I feel like you knew that. No, I didn't. I thought it was something else. Overtime. All right. Four, I hope not. Four point game. Not this game. <laughs> Yeah, I hope not either. Well, oh, yeah, Matt, are you fucking kidding me? We suck at NBA too. Pass this category. <laughs> Will not. Yeah, can we double can double we punt right away? <laughs> Chicken Hawks. Kenny Fun Martin up. and Renee led what team in rebounding in all six of their games during the 2009 Western Conference Finals when they lo- when they lost to the. I league. feel like it's a trick question. Then, like then they played for PSG. Nope. Trick question. For, for I feel like somebody like the Mavs. Nene. I actually know this. Oh, Let's fuck. just throw it. Unless you're hold on, hold on, Kate. Hold on. If if they know it, we should really think it out and try to give our best guess. Or I don't. Um, I think I got a good guess that isn't the Mavs, but it's also in that state. You can say names. And they go, they know go to the finals a lot. Okay, San Antonio. Oh, Go to the finals a lot. I feel like Nene is a guy that, that San Antonio would have. <laughs> yeah, go for it. I can I can see Nene on that jersey. We're just guessing. Uh, we're gonna go with the Spurs. Final answer. Yeah. Just a Damn it. This is this is the Denver Nuggets, I think. Yeah. All right. I'm just gonna say I don't think anyone else has an idea. Nuggets. Denver Nuggets. Final answer. Yeah. Oof. That was correct to bring it to three points. Wow, that was a massive, uh, massive pull there. I, I have no idea how yeah. I knew. I just know Nene was on the oh, No lead is safe. In the trivia <laughs> thing. Chop house. 
Quincy Pondexter and Jared Bayless led what team in points in three of their four games during the 2013 Western Conference Finals when they were swept by the Spurs? 2013. Famous son of Skip. <laughs> Skip. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Um, 2013. I'm trying, trying to think of someone that, like, was good then that could play in the finals. Um, the, so I, I think the Thunder. A, I think I the Thunder went to the. I think the Thunder went to the finals in 2013. Wait. But. Not, well. Wait, that wouldn't make sense. The Spurs went to the finals. Oh, I think the Thunder oh. might have gone to the conference finals. I, mean, I thought right. it was the Gasol brothers that were battling it out for yeah. so long on Memphis and Lakers. I don't think you put Lakers. No, it doesn't make. Sense. So I put. I think it's Memphis. The Gasol, yeah, it's not, it's not, Gasol. it's not the Thunder because Kevin Durant and Russ were doing well then. I think, I think this is the Gasol versus Gasol. This is when okay. I played fantasy basketball. All right, yeah, Memphis. That's fantasy good. Basketball. Okay. Memphis that's, that's, final answer. Yeah, Memphis, that sounds right. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, oh, <laughs> sweeping NBA. Oh, real. Clip it. Wow. Clip it. They're an NBA they, team. Fantasy basketball. <laughs> Hey, we're great at 2013 we're NBA. NBA. Team. Hey, we're a 2013 NBA team. We're an early NBA team. God damn it. Two-point game with four categories to go. Chicken Hawks have a phone a friend. Chop House double their double. <laughs> Other trials that happened. Chop House, would you like to double? This is such a mat game. It's unbelievable. I made this one. <laughs> oh, god damn. <laughs> no. no, we're not going to do that. I don't want to double this. No, we're not doubling this. All right, I'll, I'll try not to take that personally. Chicken Hawks. <laughs> Dubbed the crime of the century, a baby, son of a Charles, the son famous of... aviator, was kidnapped and murdered in 1932. What was the last name of the father and son, or how is the baby referred to? Lindbergh. Yeah, I was going to say Lindbergh. Is that too easy? Uh, he was Lucky Lindy. But I don't, I, how is the baby referred to? I don't, I don't like that. I'd say we just go with what was the last name of the father and son? Lindbergh. Lindbergh. I'm almost positive his son was murdered. So yeah, who else would it be? Yep. It's gotta be. Charles Lindbergh, final answer. Or Lindbergh. Yes. He's often referred to as the Lindbergh, Lindbergh baby. And that's what I meant. Mm. So lead back up to three to keep pace. Chop house. Probably the most famous custody battle in American history to, uh, took place in 1934 between two rich socialites. Reginald and Gloria, who uh, shared what last name synonymous with a railroad empire? Well, railroad empire in 34, 30s would be Vanderbilt. It is. So. That's it. That's it. Because I remember, like, the Vanderbilt estate had to be, like, very right. I think they had to be, like, split up or something. I mean, he owned, like, the entire, he was, like, one of the big four dudes in the country. He owned all the railroads. Yeah. All right. Vanderbilt, final answer. Nice. Yes. Gloria Vanderbilt. We are now at the reverse of the sad number. And our next category, uh, seven points left on the board, two-point game. 2022 Pro Bowl snubs. Chop House, would you like to double? We could Do double. It, we, sh- we should probably Do double. It. We should probably double. Do it. Take- I mean, this is my. This will be my best category left. This is you're strong with it. Um, I think. I think this is. This could be a good double. I mean, what sports haven't been done yet? There could be like a golf question, but. I mean, let's I'm, cool, I'm cool doubling this. Yeah, let's double it. It, hasn't, it hasn't been a college question yet either. But I right. don't know if there are any sports categories after this. I can't remember. All right, let's double. Okay, yeah, we'll double. Right. Here we go. Come on, Cam. We can do yeah. this. Are you guys an NBA team or no? This is NFL. No. Oh, NFL. NFL, I mean. NFL, I mean. Uh, kind we're, of. We're like average. Depends on depends on when it was. But this is 2022, so we should be all right. All right, Chicken Hawks. What AFC running back was left off the Pro Bowl roster despite being sixth in combined yards among running backs and second to Jonathan Taylor in total touchdowns? Just think, Cam. Just think okay. AFC running backs. Don't say them out. Don't start Sneakily? listening. To them. Don't start listening. To them. Okay. We know them all. Don't worry. You can just listen. <laughs> yeah, to we don't want to just jog yeah. your memory. I know you know them, but I promise you, you can name anything you want. <laughs> Cam, 
Kim, who are you thinking? Sneakily, it could be Derek Henry. I'm not gonna lie. He remember he finished like six in yards. Well, it literally says despite being. <laughs> Uh, my screen just went black. I don't know what's up with that. But do you want to go with that? No, I don't think he had that many touchdowns, though. Uh, he had a lot of touchdowns. My only other guess would be Javante Williams. Oh, but I don't think he had the second touchdowns. amount of touchdowns. Oh, uh, what's uh? Wait, no, no. Wait, we're almost out of time. Cardinal. It's not James. Cardinal. I don't think it's Derek, Derek Henry. Final answer. Is it Najee? Is it, oh, what? It's, it's Austin Eckler. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. He had like that five it's touchdown like, game. Jake, Jake, when I, I traded you him to you, yeah, then you I know. I had him all year. This is awesome. <laughs> <Michael's> final answer. <laughs> That's correct. Jake, I literally traded you Austin Eckler for five <laughs> touchdowns the next week. Zeke better do good this year because that's why I, I traded. This is a great thing. Of the San Diego Chargers of Los Angeles. All right, okay. two for two points and to take the lead. What AFC wide receiver was only selected as an alternate despite being tied for fifth in receptions and tenth in receiving yards? It's farther down the list. Fifth in receptions. Let's not just think and then initials and stuff. Um, More wide receivers make it. How many make it? More than running backs. Uh Am I actually think I know this? What what team do you guys think this would be? Dude, this is so hard because it's not like it's like who knows fifth and ten. Like we don't hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Fifth in receptions, and he wasn't a top guy. I, I have two people in mind, and I'm gonna I kind of want to go with my, on my fantasy team. Who? Who? DJ. What? DJ. What? DJ. He, has, he was a dog this year. Yeah, I traded him to you as well. Yeah, I know. Um, I think we should go uh, with that and have the – that's the trade do it. No, yeah, I think that's a good one. That's a good one. That, that's a good one. Deontay Johnson. Both answers, in, both answers in our trade. Let's go. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Wow. Oh, oh. No way. Wow. I knew that. I, that was just two players in our trade. Dude, that was, that oh, was. yeah, when you said that, that's a good one. That's wow. just a remarkable wow. coincidence. That's so funny. All right. <laughs> Chicken Hawk still the phone of friends. There are four points left on the board. Let's not go to overtime. We so doubled that, you, right? You did yeah. double that, so you are now ahead. It is 12 to 11. All right. 90s TV shows. Uh, let's right. get it. Chicken Hawk. Val for this one. Is that 70s show in the 90s? A screenshot from what TV show is pictured below? Buffy the Vampire Slayer, final answer. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. There's Lily. <laughs> There's <laughs> Lily, right? <laughs> I was going to say how I met your mother. But... Yeah. Matt made this one. I had a feeling Chicken Hawks would be kind of good at it, though. All right. Shop house. A screenshot from what TV show is pictured below? Oh, my God. I could not tell you. This is like a cop show, detective show. God. Is it NCIS? Is it? No, that's not 90s. I don't know. What was like a big cop show in the 90s? Uh, I have no clue. Just I, I ER. Cops? That's not, I mean, that's not a cop. I'm getting a little sweaty. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. True, true crime? True crime? Does that ring a bell? Did Law and Order come out in the did Law, Law and Order, dude? This might be. I think this is oh, Law and Order, like the yeah, original Law and Order. It's good. Let's send it. I think it's the original Law and Order, right? Okay, Whatever. yeah. Law it. and Order. Right. Final answer. Oh, you guys yeah. are so goofy. This is so easy. The X Files. Final answer. Oh what? Oh yeah. No idea what that is. In and Out was so easy. Get out of here. <laughs> we live in New York, <laughs> man. I'm, I'm proud of that. We live in Atlanta. Atlanta. Like We're in Georgia. Thousand miles from us. They take the lead back. Barely live in New York. They're going tick for tack. <laughs> they live in Quebec. Our, our final category oh tonight my. is fine. <laughs> Dude, what, what is this? We're going to Why are you giving it 90s wow. movies? Oh my God. Fine literature. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this isn't Goosebumps. This is fine literature, I said. Goosebumps really, is fine literature. They really Watch geared this as a chicken <laughs> hawk game. <laughs> Come on. You're telling me that you didn't shed a tear when uh, there was ghosts on that beach, Qualls? Come on. 
<laughs> I, I only read the, the you end our season, season with fine literature dude yeah what the fuck? i wish it was nba all of the it's not over yet. even though they swept the nba category i wish you chose the uh, NBA, we're an nba team now they're an nba team and that's the that's nba team. or the check and Hawks. if you get this then you win Please the money. You have get our money back boys uh what 20th century american writer is known for on the road and big sore Jack Kerouac, final answer. Oh, fuck. Dude, three categories in a row to end it that was just so geared towards Spencer, it's nuts. <laughs> the, the NFL one? That was, all right. Oh, not that, besides that one. Okay. Last oh, one. So besides, that one. besides one, that would be two. We had yeah, a two. Jesse okay. get smacked by Spencer. Okay. Yeah, right. <laughs> Would you guys have gotten Jack Kerouac? Because I sure wouldn't. No. no. Okay. No. 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 Okay. Panic for a second. I've never heard of Big Sur. For the chop house to bring it to within one. Uh, what 20th century American writer wrote Breakfast of Champions and Slaughterhouse Five? Spencer, you want to help us out with this one? Stephen King. <laughs> yeah, I'll help. I'll help you out. Yeah, you guys won. <laughs> it's Mark Twain. Okay, cool. I think he's yeah. lying. I mean, does it matter? <laughs> I think it's not Mark Twain. It's 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 uh. <laughs> Who wrote Fahrenheit? <laughs> Amy Amy Schumer comes. Ray Bradbury. Here. Wait, uh, what's the what's the one from Ted? F. Scott Fitzgerald. <laughs> yeah, yeah F. Scott, Scott, Scott Fitzgerald. No, oh, no. It, let's just do Mark Twain. Let's <laughs> let's let's trust him. I mean, who cares? <laughs> who cares? I like yeah, Scott right. Scott Final Fitzgerald. answer. Mark Twain. Sure. I already said fuck Scott Fitzgerald. All right. Nice. No, it's Kurt wow. Vonnegut. Final answer. Yes. Wow. Yes. So, one well, of I don't even know who that is. That makes sense. Vonnegut. All He's right. the other famous satirist. And so it ends 15 to 12. Chicken Hawks, how's it feel to get your first third place finish? Uh, bittersweet, I guess. Oh. Uh, I don't know. We get our money back. We, we didn't even know the third place game was a thing a good, like a week ago. So that's pretty cool. We get our money back. All right, Chop House, you, you guys finished fourth, but... Considering that you started 0-4, it's got to feel pretty good from uh, yeah. where it did then, did it? Does it yeah. matter? Chop House misses playoffs. Okay, great call. <laughs> so give us give us a game that is obviously biased just to keep us in, out of the podium. I thought if they were spending all this time reading yeah, boost bumps, they'd be spending less time reading other books, and I thought that would advantage, I don't know, a, a, a different team. So I thought Marcus Saul was going to lead us to the promised land of third place, but so what? Since I didn't get my like what ten dollars back or something? <laughs> Wait, I think it's twenty. Wasn't it thirty per team? Hey Spencer, you can use that twenty oh, bucks to uh, pay for the fantasy baseball league. Good idea. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here.